What's up football fans? Welcome back to my channel where I talk about anything and everything football related. Today I want to talk about the Stanford Cardinal and how they've been scorching hot on the recruiting trail as of late. After an amazing first weekend of official visits, Stanford has become one of the hottest teams in the nation. In the span of one week, the Cardinal have landed 10 commitments. They started things off by flipping former Baylor pledge Brandon Booker and landing two more commitments from Pennsylvania natives Kari Reed and Aiden Black last Monday. Brandon Booker is a three-star linebacker out of DeSoto, Texas and was a huge part of the Eagles state championship run last season. Flipping the Texas native from the Baylor Bears is a great sign for Stanford fans. Booker would become the highest rated recruit in their class, but that would only last a few days. Over the next 48 hours, we saw commitments from Jalen Sumlin, Cole Tab, and Emmanuel Ross. These commitments would jump Stanford from the 58th overall recruiting class to the 28th overall recruiting class in the 2024 recruiting cycle. This now also gave the Cardinal a new headliner for the class as Emmanuel Ross is ranked just slightly higher than Booker according to 24-7 Sports. The very next day, Stanford would land yet another East Coast product and three-star defensive lineman Joe Azian. Including Micah Ford, who committed back in April, that now gives Stanford five kids from the East Coast. They weren't done there, though. The very next day, they would land three-star athlete Brandon Nicholson out of Memphis, Tennessee. Nicholson will more than likely play DB at the next level for Stanford and is currently a top 25 prospect in Tennessee. Now I sit here on Monday, June 12th, and it was just announced that three-star offensive lineman Hayden Gunter has committed to the Cardinal as well. And in the middle of recording this video, it was also announced that safety Darius Davis locked in his commitment with the Stanford Cardinal too. That wave of commits jumped Stanford up from the 58th to the 25th overall recruiting class in the 2024 cycle, and it's very likely they still aren't done yet. They hosted 17 recruits this past weekend in Palo Alto and were able to land commitments from 10 of them before they were even able to get off campus. It was obviously a great time, and I wouldn't be shocked if more recruits joined this class very soon. Four-star recruits Emmett Mosley and Elijah Brown have both received crystal balls in favor of Stanford since their visit. Those would be huge commits for Stanford, as that would not only catapult them into the top 15 classes for the 2024 cycle, they would be presumably landing the next quarterback of the future. Elijah Brown is a four-star quarterback out of Matter Day High School and is currently the number three prospect in California. Landing the top quarterback in California over schools like USC and UCLA would be a huge win for Stanford and the new staff in place. After having the worst recruiting class in over a decade from the 2023 cycle, it was key for Troy Taylor to get things back on track for Stanford. Okay, so right as I was finishing this video, another recruit committed, and it was a big one. Four-star edge rusher Naki Tuakoi announced late last night that he too will be committing to Stanford after visiting this past Friday. He is a top 25 prospect in California and now the highest rated recruit in this class. His commitment should put Stanford right behind USC in the recruiting rankings according to 24-7 Sports. If they can keep this kind of momentum up and lock in Elijah Brown, there's no telling how high this class will rank. Who do you think will be next to commit to Stanford? Leave a comment down below and if you're a football addict like I am, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more football related content. You can catch some of my other videos right here and I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, peace! peace.